Hello, um, in this tutorial we are going to be designing this part that someone sent to me yesterday. So to start, um, just start a new part file and this is metric so change your units to metric. Um, just going to go to uh, options over there, document properties, um, unit and change to metric and OK. So now looking at how this is. So the way I always start is if I click sketch, it shows me all my plane. And looking at this, I want to start with this view. So I'm just going to start my sketch on the front plane. So on the front plane, we're just going to draw this profile. So it looks something like this. Draw a circle and draw a line coming down the middle of the circle. And just trim. I'm using trim to closer trim this part off. And draw another line over here that is tangent to this line. I mean to the circle. And draw another line. Um, then what I'm going to do is trim this off as well. Um, yes, I'm going to trim that off. Then I'm just going to draw this um, gap you see here and the angle. We're just going to draw that in this profile. So draw something like this going there. So we have our basic shape. All we need to do is add our dimension. So this is 82, radius 82, uh, that is right here. The distance from this face to that face, you can see this is 10 and 13. Because we're drawing the whole face, we're just going to make that 10 plus 13, which is 23. And the angle from here to there is 30. And uh, something is wrong here. We need to make sure this line and this circle is tangent to each other so now the only thing I have left is this and if you look over here from the center point to the bottom point of that of this is 82 so we have a fully defined sketch feature extrude you want to extrude it in the opposite direction going back and it is 227 so 227 and click OK. Good. So once we have this profile, the next thing we are going to draw is this little um, thing over here. So click this face and sketch um, number two. And the first thing you want to do is just the cent the angle is from the center point. So we're just going to establish that. Draw a horizontal line and a, a line going at an angle. So you know your angle is 38. So we're just going to draw that angle, 38. And I'm just going to move this over here because I like constraining everything. So make these two lines construction line. So you hold control key to select both line and you can make a construction line. Um, then the next thing we want to do is the, the, um, the length of this is um, 82. So what we can do is, um, there are a couple of ways you can do it. You can um, offset um, this line, which is 41. So if you do that, so you have a line 41, that gives you that 41. Then draw another line over here. Or we could have done the bilateral, but I'm just bi-directional offset, but I'm just showing you this one. So make holding the control key make these two lines parallel to each other so that way they are parallel and you can add your dimension to this line which is going to be um, 82 so now good click this edge convert entity and now all you need to do is trim the the one on the excess line on the outside trim those off yes I want to say yes to that well maybe I have to reapply my dimension so again, I'm just going to add my dimension here, 82. And good. So we have the only thing we have now is this um, here. And don't worry about this. So what we can do is draw a line coming this way. Make sure this line is and that line is perpendicular. And this line and that line is also perpendicular. So I'm also going to trim the excess off and the the dimension is 51 from the center point to the to this line so from this point to that line and make sure you have a 
I don't know. I can't remember what this is called now. Aligned um, dimension. So it is, and this is going to be 51. So make sure that's 51. Our sketch is fully defined. Um, let me move that out so you see what's going on. So now all we need to do is extrude it and it is 33 right here. So feature extrude 33. Make sure you're extruding it in this direction and click OK. Good. So now click on this face and sketch normal two. Um, we're just going to draw draw a line something like this just coming down I'll make sure the line is not on any point so I'll click over here um, draw a line and put the line on this origin point and draw another line coming down kind of like a square in this four corner and make sure the dimension now if you look over here the dimension is 10 from this face to because we want to cut that face out so we're just going to make this dimension 10 good our sketch is fully defined and we want to extrude it feature extrude cut um we want to extrude cut something is wrong with my sketch let me check sometimes you have extra line you see i have like a little bit extra line so i'm just going to delete that um and I'm just going to extrude cut through all and click OK. Good. So the next thing we want to do is add the, the counter ball hole. So we can draw a circle here, extrude cut, and draw another circle, extrude cut on this side. But we can also use the whole wizard. So click on the whole wizard and select the whole type, the counter ball, the position, select this face and you want to select that origin point to put that hole there then we're going back into our and I'm just going to go normal to so you see what's going on and these are the dimensions you want to have in it so this doesn't really matter but you can choose this option but make sure for the the ball through that is going through it is 57.15 um, your bigger counter ball dimension is 88.9 and the distance is 78 which is right here so once you are and make sure this is going you can do through or, or up to next it's still the same thing and click OK good so we have that so the next one we need to do is click this face and sketch and we want to click this slot and just draw something like this and the dimension is 114 from that edge to the center point of this so from this point to this edge is going to be 114 um, the, this dimension from here the diameter is 22 and so we're just going to make this and just put it on this line for now so it needs to be on there and the distance from the bottom up which is right here is 26 so from this bottom line to this line it's going to be 26 our sketch is fully defined so all we're going to do is feature extrude cut and it is 13 so we are just going to extrude cut it back and change this value to 13 and click OK Good. and for our last feature we are going to select this face again uh, sketch and just draw a rectangle somewhere in here so we have our rectangle and the distance we know is right here 33 so make that 33 um, from the edge to the first line is 38 so from this line to this line is 38 and now uh, that's the dimensions that are given but we know that this cuts through that part so we can just bring this down and make this point and the origin point uh, let me select the right thing so the origin point and holding the control key and this point horizontal to each other 
and we can add another dimension here just to fully constrain our sketch so I make that 120 and now we are just going to extrude cut feature extrude cut and it is going to be 19 uh, 19 and click OK and there you go that I believe that's everything on this part and if you look at it this way this face is not the same as that face and if I go to your isometric view and that is that part anyway thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one if you have any more um, help you have any question or if there's any other assignment you need help with uh, please feel free to email me thank you and I'll see you have a nice day bye